Namaste. Welcome to Full Body Flexibility Daily Yoga Flow. This class is great to do at any time of your day and is designed to helping you to bring more freedom to live in your physical body, emotional, mental, and energetic body. I'm going to give you several options to choose according to your level, so choose wisely what you could do with your breath and enjoy your practice. Let's begin our class starting in Mini Savasana. Laying flat on your back, legs straight down. Open your legs about mid distance, relaxing your arms down by your side. Shoulder blades walk in and hips up and down. Relaxing into your physical body. Eyes closed. Just notice your full body started to melting and relaxing onto the mat. Just checking in the breathing pattern right now. How you breathe. whether it's shallow, whether it's deep, just begin to notice and observe your breathing. Taking deep inhalation from your belly, ribs, all the way up to your chest. Be cleansing, breath out through your mouth. Blink your eyes open, lips sealed. In through your nose, fingers open up over your head. Ankles together as you exhale out through your nose, circling your arms down by your side. Inhalation, circle the arms up, ankles together, point the toes, stick pose. Exhalation, circling your arms down. Let's pull your knees toward your chest, holding onto the tops of your knees. Lifting up to your head and neck up, feeling the back of your neck and shoulders stretch. Exhale, drop the head and neck down, drop the feet down. Let's do it again. Pull your knees toward your chest, head and neck up. Exhale, head and neck down, drop the feet down, arms out to T-shape. First, breathe in. Exhalation, drop the legs down to the right side. Look over to your left shoulder. Continue to breathe. Bring your knees back to the center, gazing up to the sky. Exhale, drop the legs to the left. Look over to your right shoulder. Very nice. Bring your legs and gazing back to the center. And now one breath at a time, move your legs side to side. Beautiful. Extending both legs straight up toward the ceiling, arms up over your head. Interlacing your fingers tight and turning your palms up. Flexing your feet, point, Flex and point. Chin slightly pull down, feeling the back of your neck slowly elongating. Beautiful. Circling the ankles few rounds. Other side. Let's bend the knees, drop the feet down. Releasing your arms, let's roll toward to the right side. Pause just for a moment in a fiddle position. Great way to relaxing your mind. And slowly pushing yourself up using your left hand to make your way to table to position. Coming onto hands and knees and pressing your palms and your feet. 
Big toes together, rocking forward. And sending your hips toward to your heels. Begin to warming up your joints, coming forward and back few rounds. Watch your fingers wide open. And unless you're wearing manicure, as you're creeping at your fingertips, you can feel, see your nails are turning slightly white. And that's how much you're really engaging your fingertips down to the mat. And that will protect your wrists. As you come forward, let's circling to the right side and all the way back to child. Two more, same direction. Very good. Let's change the direction. Great job. With your inner thighs wide open, big toes together, walking your hands toward to your legs. So now we are slightly sitting on top of your heels and lean forward. Turning your fingers to the outer side, we're adding slight cow variation. Exhalation, turning your fingers all the way toward to yourself and rounding your spine, chin toward to your chest. If this is too intense on your wrist, you can peel your palms off of the mat. If you have space, keep pressing your palms down. You can feel the intense stretch on your forearms if you're using phone a lot during the day. Inhale, cow. And exhale to cat. Very nice. And let's turning your fingers facing forward, walking yourself forward. Keep your knee to knee touch and come onto your feet nice and strong, pressing down through your knuckles. Watch your tops of your feet are facing toward to the side angle. Let's tuck your toes under. Inhalation, dropping your belly, pressing through your knuckles, lifting up to your chin forward. As you exhale, pressing your toes and your arms and rounding your spine up to cat. Feel your shoulder blades wide open. Inhalation to cow, belly stretch, chest and the front of your neck. Exhalation, rounding your spine one vertebra at a time. Shall we add in one last round? Great job. Come back to neutral. Let's lower your palms down with your toes tucking under, walking toward your legs. You can lean forward if that's your maximum stretch for your feet. If you can go a little further, bring your hands on top of your thighs. Great stretch on your feet, I hope. If you are here and feeling pretty good, you may lean forward and back using your body weight to massage deeper through your feet. Two more, and one more. Now let's together lifting up your knees up and make your way to fold forward. Open your legs about mid distance. Let's micro bending your knees so your torso falling in between your thighs, relaxing your upper body fully down. Head and neck heavy, chin close to your collarbones. Holding onto your elbows, Using the gravity, feel your spine decompressing and rocking side to side. Two more like this. Let your head and neck heavier. Beautiful. Bring your torso to the center, dropping your arms down heavy, pressing your feet. Let's roll your spine up to stand. As you're standing up tall, arms out to T-shape. Breathe in. Exhale, dropping right and down, left hand reaching over your head. See if this side body opening is coming from the foot. So pressing your left foot, push your ankle, leg, hips, 
and your side body. Inhale, coming back to the center, arms out to T-shape, chin slightly pull down. Exhale, left hand down, right hand goes over your head. So feeling the full connection down to your foot. Beautiful. Inhale, coming back to the center, arms out to T-shape, sending your hands behind your back. Let's interlace your fingers tight. First, roll the shoulders, push your chest. Breathe in. Exhalation, softening your knees so you can hinging into your hips, lean forward and down, lifting up your fists up toward the sky, head and neck heavy down. If you have more flexibility, then get your knees a little straighter and sending your fist coming forward and down, forward and down, a little bit closer toward your face. Chin down fully, head and neck heavy, stay two more, two more breaths. Beautiful. Releasing your arms down heavy. Let's roll your spine back to stand. Arms up over your head. Inhale. Big sigh. Arms down. <sighs> By your side. Big shoulder roll twice. Once more. Reverse. Forward and back and dropping your arms down. Heel to bring your feet a little bit closer, maybe hip distance, a little bit wider if that feels better on your lower back. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, swan dive. Let's walk in forward to downward facing dog. Beautiful way to decompressing your spine and opening up the back of your body. Walk it out, please. Bending right knee deeply, left leg straighter. Left knee deeply bend and right leg straight. Continue. Very nice. Stay still, breathe in. Side it out. Beautiful. Lower your knees down back to table to position. Pressing your feet and lower your right forearm down, please. Bend your left elbow slightly to the outer side without arching your lower back, hugging your ribs and belly in. So feel your spine long and strong. Left leg straight all the way back. Shoulders back. And let's bend your left knee opening up through your inner thigh and your hip. Pull your knee toward to your left arm and down toward to the right knee and lifting back up. Feel your left hip lubricating with beautiful movements for two more. And one more. Very nice. Let's reverse. Beautiful. Extending your left leg straight all the way back and circling your leg towards the side, flexing your foot, drop the foot down. Come up to your palm and walking your hands up to your hips. I want your hips to be square, facing straight forward to begin. Arms out to T-shape, breathe in. Exhalation, softly landing your left hand down to your left leg. Right arm comes close by your face. Drop the left shoulder away from the ear and sending your right hand further and further, gate pose. Beautiful way to tapping into your psoas. Wonderful way to opening up to your hips. Stay to breath. Beautiful. Gazing down, lower the right hand down. Let's walk in both hands to the center. Plant the palms down. On your next inhalation, move from your hips. So tilt your pelvis back, push your belly down, chest push forward and chin up. As you exhale, rounding from the tailbone one vertebra at a time, 
rounding your back, chin to the chest. Adding one more cats and cows with the arm variations, turning your left fingers toward your leg, inhalation to cow. And exhalation to cat. So feel your left forearm stretching at the same time. Great job. Come back to neutral, left fingers facing forward, gliding your left leg all the way straight back, peel your foot up, knee to your chest, stepping your left foot all the way forward. Let's come down to beautiful hip opening, low lunge, arms up over your head. Breathe in fully. Exhale, lower your hands down, hips back to half split. Once more, make it flow. Inhale, rebend, come up. Exhale, lower the hands down. Sending your hips back and flexing your foot. Move your left palm down to your foot and gently simulating your toes and shoulders soften. We stay to breath. Great job. Just releasing your hand down and walking your shoulders in line with your fingers, pressing and lifting to halfway flat back. Keep on pulling your left hip back. And as you exhale, we twist, open to the left side. Shoulders pull away from the ears, looking toward your thumb. Stay two breaths. Beautiful way to getting deep into your IT band hamstrings, keep on flexing your foot, stay one more breath, good job, gazing down, lower the hand down, let's bend the front knee, tuck your back toes, back knee up, step back to downward facing dog, great job, walk it out please. Before we move on, bring your ankles together, bend your knees deeply, walking your hands toward your legs. Your knees can be bent, that's okay. Your fingertips doesn't need, don't need to touch the ground, and that's really okay. I want your lower back feeling gently stretching, head and neck heavy, shoulders relaxed. If this feels pretty good, wrapping your hands around your legs, head and neck heavier, and see if you can get your legs a little bit straighter without rounding and stressing your upper back. Soften, relax, and breathe. Two more. One more. Releasing your arms, squeezing your inner thighs. Let's roll up to stand. Circling the arms up over your head, interlacing your fingers, root to rise, one straight line. Exhale, lower to the right side, pressing your left foot. Make sure heels together touch, big toes together touch right now. Inhale, coming back to the center. Exhale, lower to the left side, pressing your right foot. Great job. Inhale back to the center. Slight back bend. Exhale, release. One dive. Walking forward to table to position. We're almost done. Lower the left forearm down. Pressing your feet, extending right leg straight back. Just like how we did, working on your left hip, we're working on the right side. So watch your lower back not arching, please. Tailbone long, straight back, shoulders back, neck long. And let's bend the knee. Open up to your inner thigh. Feel the strength from the glutes. Bring the right knee towards the right arm. Touch, lift, open, forward, and circle. Continue. Very nice. Let's reverse.
Well done. Extending right leg straight back. Swing it over to the right side, flexing your foot. Lower the foot down. Come up to your palms, pressing, walking all the way up to your hips. And again, notice if your right hip hiking up, bring it down. Feel your side body elongating to begin. Arms out to T-shape. Breathe in. Exhalation, right and softly landing. Left arm goes over your head. Shoulders drop. Breathe into where you feeling the most. Beautiful gate pose. Breathe in. Gazing down, lower the left hand, walking both hands back to the center. Cats and cows variation this time, turning your right fingers toward your leg. Inhalation to cow. Exhalation to cat. Once more, inhale cow. Exhale to cat. Beautiful. Come back to neutral. Right fingers facing forward. Gliding your right leg straight back. Peel the foot up. Knee to your chest. Step your right foot forward. Root to rise. Take your time. Low lunge. Breathe in. Exhale, lower your hands down, hips back, half split. Rebend the knee, come up back to low lunge. Anjani Asana. Exhale, lower the hands down, hips back this time, less flexing your right foot deeply. Lengthen your spine, bring your right hand underneath your foot, stimulating your toes. Flexing a little deeper. You could probably feel your calf muscle connection. Stay a few more breaths. Very nice. Releasing your both hands in line with your shoulders. Pressing and lifting, flat back. Exhalation, let's twist. Open up to the right side. Keep pulling your right hip back, reaching up, looking at your thumb. Stay two breaths. Well done. Gazing down, lower the right hand down. Let's rebend your front knee this time. Tuck the back toes, knee up. Turning both feet parallel, walking toward to the middle of your mat. Halfway flat back, inhale. Exhale, fold it in half. Catching one leg, both hands, head and neck heavy, close toward to your leg. Great job, release, catching the other leg, head and neck heavy. Beautiful. Back to the center. Turn your heels in and toes out. Bend your knees deeply. Bring your both hands, your hands, or down to your forearms on top of your thighs. You can use your hands to push your inner thighs out. Lower your hips down. You can stay. You can stay up high. That's okay. If you have more space, come down. If you have more space, narrow your legs a little bit more, pressing yourself, push yourself all the way down to deep squat, malasana. Instead of thinking, just opening up to your inner thighs, using your strength to slightly hug into your elbows as well. So this will safely stretch in your hips and opening up, shoulders relax, stay in your maximum stretch. Malasana, yogi squat, three more breaths. Gazing softly at the tip of your nose.
Well done. Lower the hands down, hips up, turn your feet parallel. Place your palms on top of your lower back. Let's pressing through your fingers, roll up to stand. When you stand up tall, bring your feet a little bit closer, hip distance. Breathe in. Exhalation, gently push your hips forward, lifting up your chest, hugging the elbows back and look up. If you have more space, continue to throw your head and neck back. Come up. Bring your feet together. Arms up over your head. Inhale. Interlacing your fingers. Index reaching up. Spread out your toes. Lifting up to your heels up. Hold and breathe. Keep your ankles close together. Lower your hands down, straight forward. Come high onto your tippy toes and squeezing in between your inner thighs. Let's lower down as you keep rising. Three, two, all the way as far as you could. Keep sending your tops of your feet forward. Well done. Together, lower the knees, lower the legs. Any comfortable seated pose, please. Well done. As we come up, sitting up tall, arms out to T-shape. You can get your legs straight forward or cross leg. And let's add in gentle twist. Come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Arms out to T-shape. And bring your prayer hands together at your heart center. Chin down, eyes closed. Just checking in. Now, how you feel physically after you got practice, mentally, emotionally, and energetically. Thinking to yourself, making this time to bring you more freedom to live in your body, mind, and soul. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy into today's class. Shall we finish with one OM together? Eyes closed, sit up tall, breathe in. Om. Have a beautiful rest of your day. See you again on the next class. Namaste.